That's them. Now, remember, everyone, be understanding and forgiving for the sake of family unity. Everyone, I'd like you to meet... Ah! Say to Bob! What the... Selma, dear, I'm afraid the children's reaction is quite understandable. You see, Bart here is the Seamus in short pants who sent me to prison. That's right, Aunt Selma. Your new boyfriend here framed Krusty the Clown for armed robbery. <gasps> Gee, if some snot-nosed little kid sent me to prison, the first thing out, I'd find out where he lives and tear him a new belly button. Lousy <laughs> <laughs> snitch. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Simpson. You're forgetting the first two noble truths of the Buddha. I am not. Yes, you are. One, existence is suffering. Two, the cause of suffering is desire. In this case, my desire to do high-quality children's programming. When prison put an end to that dream, I became a seething cauldron of rage and recrimination. I was nominated for Best Supporting Performer in a children's program at the Daytime Emmy Awards. My bitterness ruined what should have been the greatest night of my life. And the nominees are Droopy Drawers, Colonel Coward, Pepito, the biggest cat in the whole wide world, Sideshow Bob, and Suck Up the Vacuum. And the Emmy goes to... Oh, I don't believe this. Sideshow Bob. This is one more Emmy than you'll ever win, you bantering jack-in-the-box. Just don't drop that thing in the shower, Bob. No talent, shill. Take it, banana. Panderer. Boar. Stop it. I can't. Get me Oh, uh, Now for the highlight of the evening, best film to video transfer. Do you know what prison is like for a lifelong conservative Republican? In our overcrowded <laughs> cell, we became little more than beasts. Who used my chapstick? Oh, I did. Here you go. I don't want it. My only joy came with plotting a horrible revenge against the boy who put me there. Hi, caramba! Bart, if I wanted to kill you, I'd have choked you like a chicken as soon as I walked in that door. <gasps> But then what kind of a guest would I have been? <laughs> <laughs> now, where was I? Ah, oh, yes, my lowest dad. You can't take my Emmy. Hey, you know the rules. Awards for excellence and entertainment are contraband. No Emmys, no Oscars, not even a Golden Globe. But kismet can be kind as well as cruel. I received an answer to my letter from the prison pen pal program. Dear number 24601. I need a man, and I cannot find one among the law-abiding. I have a steady job and a lucrative hobby filing nuisance lawsuits. I share an apartment with my twin sister. Enclosed is a photo of us on a tandem bike. I forget which one I am. Dear Selma, your latest letter set off a riot in the maximum security wing of my heart. Whoa! Like the lone crocus that pokes through the prison yard, our love bloomed despite all obstacles. Selma, may I? Uh, uh, uh. On the cheek. Inspired by the love of a good woman, I resolved to be the best darn inmate number 24601 I could be. I bade farewell to my cellmates and left with the woman I loved. Cutter. Ice pick. Snake, I'm going to miss you most of all. Oh. What a beautiful story, Sideshow Bob. You're living proof that our revolving door prison system works. Selma, I've never seen you so happy, giggling like a schoolgirl. <laughs> I've got to admit it, Selma. He's a once-in-a-lifetime catch. Yes, I hope the police are saying that as well. Ha, 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 